for another edition of Voice of Reason. This is Jake Schwartz here at St. Joseph University Hagen Arena and the man uh, pointing to the camera, one of my favorite uh, people on and off. And right of back at you, voice. Right back the at you. The voice of Philadelphia Freedoms, the voice of Philadelphia Union. He's a voice all around the Philly area, Dave Leno. Hello, Dave. I'm just trying to catch up with you, voice. <laughs> I, I, did, I mean, I know you just got to Vegas, and you're living the Sin City life. I like life. how he's do, you're doing uh, this with a microphone, by well, the way. Well, this is the, hooked up to your camera, right? I don't think, <laughs> I don't think we're doing that, uh, Okay, though. we don't have that technology <laughs> yet. Now, tell us about uh, what this means to you. You're the voice of the Philadelphia Freedoms. Correct. How much fun has that been? Uh, how many years officially total have I, I you been the like voice I think it's like four here? or five. This is uh, your fifth season. Yes, yeah, the in-arena announcer and MC. I love it. I'm a big tennis player. I play a lot. I played in high school. I never knew that. Yeah, I play in some tournaments. I play. you're a huge I'm okay. basketball guy. I am a basketball guy. And a soccer guy. Correct, yeah. But I never knew tennis was your no, specialty. No, uh, yeah. I, I play competitively. I play with a lot of friends. And uh, play, like I said, played in some tournaments. And played in high school four years varsity. I'm a much better player now than I was then, but this is cool because it's professional tennis. All, all these players, the men and women, all play on the pro tour. Yes. And it's just great seeing them up close and personal. We encourage people to cheer loud and scream. It's a very different environment than you see on the ATP and WTA tours. We, we uh, ju I just spoke with Frederick Martin, the Frenchman, uh, yes. plays here with the Philadelphia Freedoms. He says it's been a big transition from him and followed some of the great tennis players like you and I did, such as Yannick No, among the big names. Sure. Uh, what have you learned watching uh, this this group. Uh, he dominated singles and mixed matches. There were so many just names that I was kind of learning well, on the Taylor floor. Taylor Townsend's playing excellent. Yes. Raquel Attal and Fabrice Martin played in Wimbledon mixed doubles, played against Andy Murray and Serena Williams. It was a tight match, unfortunately they lost, but uh, they've been great. Mitchell Kruger played with us tonight. He was excellent. Yeah. Another young rising star from the Fort Worth area. So this team is just awesome to see. They're going to be on national television on Sunday on CBS. And for me to see it up close and personal, Jake, you get to see the shape of the ball, how hard they hit. Also, the fitness that they have to just move side to side. And so much of the court coverage with transitions from the baseline all the way up to the service line to the net. It's fascinating for a guy like me that just plays recreationally now and, and yeah. messes around. Now, I, I saw the, the ring on your finger. Congratulations, sir. Yes, you I am. Now, how long, how, now tell everybody how long of the marriage for you. And now it's about six months. How are you enjoying it? Because she uh, is, I met her. At, Tori, I want right? To talk about, I want to talk about that, though. Okay. Let's, let's talk about that story. Sure. Where did you and I actually, because I, I know where we met, but I think everybody here on the Voice of Reason Network deserves to know where we first officially met. Well, we, I guess we reconnected, right, at, yes. the, at the golf tournament. We did. At Big, the Big Brothers, Brothers, Big Sisters. At Bucks County. At Doylestown Country Club. You were Club. so nice to me to be able to talk to you. You should see Jake's drive, by the way. <laughs> it, uh, he hits a beautiful fade about 190 to 220. Yeah, you, just remember, you were golfing with Ben Simmons. Uh, I was by with Dave way, Simmons. I was golfing, golfing with, with a guy. What a golfer son, he was, by the way. I was going to say, Dave's son now, just in case you're wondering, I think is 170. Got extra that max contract. That's right. Is Rumor that. has it that you're helping with the shooting. Is I that am. true? Well, if you're not, you can take. I'm taking some of that out of her. Because I, I heard they call though. you Dr. Free Throw. No, no that's. Oh, okay. No, but, um, you know. Uh, but you are a tremendous golfer, and it was, uh, no, no, all kidding aside, uh, it was awesome uh, being with you and supporting Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and, and everything that you guys do is just marvelous. And everything you do, I follow you a lot. we do it again this year. One last question, and I'll okay. let you go. Please. Uh, we are here on the campus of St. Joseph. And Correct. as you know, we will be starting the Billy Lag era. How sad was it, after 34 years, to see a good friend of ours like Phil Martelli go? You, you know, I, it was, listen, it was very sad to see Phil go because he's an institution at St. Joe's. I think a lot of people feel that. I think there are a lot of people in the fan base that, that wish he was still here. I'll just put it very bluntly, but I'm very happy for him and his family that he got a chance at Michigan. I, I went to Indiana in the Big Ten. Michigan's a great basketball program, what John Beeline has done recently there, and obviously now he's with the Cavaliers of the NBA. I'm very happy for Phil, and I know his coaching, his assistant coaches, I believe, got jobs elsewhere, so yes. people don't well, realize all well, the family, it's not just the coaches, yeah. but the family that's impacted. Uh, I, I really feel for, for him, uh, for Billy, you only wish him nothing but the best, him and his staff. Uh, they've made some changes here at St. Joe's. We're going to be here and, and, uh, during this season. 
I know you're going to be covering them. Maybe I'll come in and do a game with oh, ESPN. So. You know, I and I, I'm very excited to see uh, what direction the program goes. And I can only wish them uh, all the best. I think everybody that's in the St. Joe's fan base should rally behind uh, their team. I may be voice of reason, but this is one of the true voices of Philadelphia. Just following your lead, brother. The voice, of the, the voice of the freedom and the voice of many other places, Dave Leno. Dave, what a great night and a great night for freedom. We're going to play fans. some tennis sometime, okay? I'll spot we you three that. games, okay? Thank you, sir. Jake right. Schwartz again with uh, media personalities, Dave Leno.